guys in a second. Let me know. As we get set for action here. Men's now Major World Series the under the lights. Right. Stephen Lloyd ready to go. Number one, Stephen Lloyd. Goes right at the gap. Lloyd promptly jumps on the first offering. Wow. How about that, that for a start? So Dan Smith jumps on the board. It's one nothing. And now a lot of this, I think, is going to be about energy. No matter, no matter what, you know, Dan Smith had the big victory over them at the conference finals, but I think they're still a heavy underdog here, Bernie. I mean, if, you, if we put it up on the board, where, where they're a seven to ten run underdog right now, they need to get out in front and kind of be a little bit of a front running team tonight. Hands coming down, play. So Lloyd with a home run, Colby Hughes. This one is going to be popped up and caught. And Brandon Brandon number one. one I think this is one of the things that you know, Kobe dropped back and tried to whack it right out of here. I think one of the things that's lost a little bit here yet, it is unlimited home runs, but it's also unlimited singles, doubles, and walks. And and sometimes I think I think they get a little hung up, and we've seen that with some of the other teams this, this week, Bernie, where they kind of give up on their gap swings and just look to pull everything. Hands coming down. Play. Here's a look at the starting line. Just shorten it up a little bit. Strike! Hands coming down. Still on the night like tonight. You'd love to score eight, nine in this first inning because you get a feeling that this could be a big scoring night, right? Yeah, it's all, great conditions. Obviously, we had rain earlier that actually postponed and pushed and push, push back and postponed some of the these games, but there's a three-hour block built in so that these games go off on time, and we needed all of it. The, the game before this ended about 15 minutes before first pitch. But with that rain, you got it. if you were wondering what happened there, there was time called. There was time called early. Corey couldn't see. There was a guy shining a light in Corey's eyes. But I think we're probably looking at a, a number around 28 to 33, somewhere in there to get you home tonight. All right, hands coming down. Yes, sir. Set up, set up. Play. What a difference. This one deep, though, but it's going to be Not playable. Man, the two. ballpark held it. He it's been tough that. to hit it out. It has left hasn't left his plate. It's normally big, but he also Donnie missed that. You can see him shaking his head there, first base. And It'll be the middle infielder, number four, Donnie Hammonds. Donnie playing out of Orlando, Florida. Come on, Donnie. Excuse me. That was Donnie Hammonds. This is the fourth, the middle infielder. Chad Turek. Two. This is the change form from the weekend. They've had Kyle Pearson, as we call little Kyle Pearson, in the middle. And obviously, you know, this kind of goes to your comment, Hands Bernie. I guess down. Dan Smith Play. feels they need a little more offense. As Kyle Pearson is the better defensive player. That's not the one to hit it to, but oh, wow. Junior, who made a spectacular grab last night. This one, though, just gets under the glove of the first baseman. Jason Branch, and so the inning continues, and we'll see what comes of that extra out. Got to see officially how they score this one. Throw was low, and obviously it's still that's a tough play yeah, a, for Branch. Yeah, it's a tough play. Oh, that's a that's a throwing error. Donnie will accept that, and he'll make the Westy. next ten plays in a row. So officially, it will go as an error on the scoreboard. And now Chris Greiner. Hands coming down, sir. Play. Big part of the yard. And I think. Wow. It is. No. Dropped out in. Dropped out there. Right center field. It's going to go as a triple. And that one. That's a huge down. difference Chris maker. Liner That's two breaks the right there. The wall is right center field. 
The right fielder, Andrew Collins, I think he's going to make that play 90% of the time plus. Good hustle by Griner, not assuming anything to be all the way around to third base. Here's a look. Number seven, John Williams. Yeah, Still he, not an easy play, but... Well, that's... <laughs> That's an easy play, Bernie. I, I hate to say that, but that's for a, for an outfielder at this level. That's an easy play. That's I yep. think he. I, I'm almost gonna have to assume he lost that in the light. He almost can sacred that off his head Hands over the fence. Down. Play. Officially, they're gonna score it as a hit. Strike. That's that's generous that's scoring they for Grinder. Climbed enough. They climbed above his head. Now the big bat will line up all weekend. It's John Williams here, and you may see him nibble around him a little bit because we have Matusek waiting on deck, I Play. believe. But Big John has been wearing it out. And he continues to wear it out. And again, here we see that hustle. Winding up at second Time. with a double. We've got two unearned runs in right now, basically. And now here's that four or five run inning you were talking about, you know, to climb into that number right here. A big swing by Matusik. You hang a five up here where smashing feels like they should have been in the dugout with, with one run on the board. Yeah, one is going to turn into at least three at this point. Play! Wow, smoke through the infield. It's going to turn into four. And with the double the and he's, he's going to throw it away. He's throw to third. It's going to get away. And Matusik thought about going home, but he's going to hold over Time. at third base. That's the hustle. Hustle all the way. Andy, Andy did a great job trying to back the play up. Four nothing. Two outs into the box. It'll be the right field. That ball. Briggs had no chance of that pop right there. Will. And the other thing this does is it rolls their order. You know, they're they are strong at the top. You know, where they where they may not match up as well right now is at the bottom. They have great defensive players in Zirkel and Westy. I think two of the best outfielders that that are, that are playing the game, and Zirkel may go down as one of the top two or three best center fielders that ever played the game. But they're not power guys. You know, they're 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 here for their defense and and this rolls it for down. them. Play. That's, That's going to bite, too. That's going to bite, too. Look at this. Two plays yeah, could have been outs. An and, I, and again, like we said, we're, roll, we're, rolling, the, we're rolling the lineup here. Number eight, the man from Wilson, Freddie Bynum. And Freddie Bynum's an interesting offensive player. He could go backside right now. He can. He, he's still finding that swing coming out of Major League Baseball. And coming down. And he can give you a two-run home run right now. Ooh, great play Briggs. by Briggs. Great Grabbed play by high Briggs. High throw to Rania, but he's going to tag yeah, the bag really and end the inning. But it could have been a very quick start. But it becomes a big first inning for Dan Smith. They score five runs in the first inning before... Briggs yeah. comes up with this great defensive snatch to end the threat and now smash it coming to the plate for the first time. With Direct Flights Daily, your vacation begins at GoMelbourneFlorida.com. Each and every day you come out here to the park, you give everything you got. Behind every good team is a great coach. Our hands are not in here, hands are out. Today's coaches mold tomorrow's leaders. A lot of hard work. We know the blood, sweat, and tears that go into the job. And that's why this season, coaches fly free when booking their teams travel with us. That's all right. Come on. It's fine. Save time. Save money. Fly with the Air Travel Group. All right, back here at the USSA Men's Major World Series, the regular season hey, champions, Smash It Sports. 
coming to the plate. A little more work to do. Now stepping into the box to lead things off for Smash. The lineup tonight, Jason Branch, Andy Purcell. Here we go. The Big Ben Ryan Harvey, Andrew Collins. It's a team that's got tons and tons of power as we saw last night. Right here. Hands coming down. Play. The pitcher, Elsie Watson, so kind of going up against his old team. Many of the players he played with. And Branch. They got him at wow. first. Wow. Wow. Nice play and by Dirk coming across. For one out. Look at from his knees. Yeah, great play there. Nice scoop by Jason Matusik at first base. From Rockledge, Florida, Anthony Purcell. Hands coming down. Play! Anthony Purcell. Let it go, let it go! They said let it go, and they were right. Foul ball. It's kind of one of those things that a Day like today, you got to try to conserve as much as you can. Yep. Well, the, the good thing about these guys is their first game of the day, though, and it's their only game of the day. Right. So. And I guess the worst news here is you want to win this one, but hands coming down. Even if you lose here, you're com not completely out of winning the men's major right World there. Series. Go. Andy Let Purcell. Almost needs a whole new bat after he snaps that one off. So now stepping into the box, it'll be the catcher, number 35, the man who led all the Wait for the trash can. Trash can, water cooler. Ryan Harvey. Big Ryan Harvey put on a heck of a show last night in the home run derby. I, the, you take a look at what Harvey did. It seemed like almost every ball he hit was either right at the flags and left or over the scoreboard in center down. field. Right. I think he just got gassed late in the game, right? Well, I, I, and I also think we were talking about he almost didn't get his, enough swings in a way to right. get it a group because the first couple times, you know, he needed three to advance or four. He got him on four swings. Here goes Zirko and Hughes. Stays in the yard. And big Harvey hustling. How about this? You missed the cutoff. You gotta love that other big man. But he, 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 he and I were talking on the field last night in his first couple of rounds. You know, he needed he, he needed three in his first round. He got it in five swings. Then went and sat for 40 minutes again. Then came back out and I think he needed six and he got it in like nine swings, Bernie. And then went and sat. Seems like he almost seemingly had an easy yep. night. He's got one of the sweetest swings. And all a slow pitch softball, that's for sure. He misses the heck out of that 385 feet. <laughs> I'd like to miss one that far. Right, Hands coming down. Play. Tough Andrew ball, Collins. Tough ball. That one gets down, and Knuckle the two-hour rally is down on. Harvey will score. Andrew Collins to the double. Andrew Collins. Right. That ball knuckled the whole way out there. That's a ball that Smith would have loved to have seen hang up in the air and get a zero and see if he can put a little pressure on. Still got a really good inning going right now. Yeah, definitely take it as a win for Dan Smith if he can get out of this one 5-1. Let's see what Lewis Rain is thinking. His right center field gap is wide open. Hands coming down. Play! Nice glove across the diamond, and they're going to apply Nicely done. the tag no, to can't. retire the side. John Williams across the diamond, and how about this? Major versus major in the first one of the and night. It's Dan Smith. The 5 1 advantage. Back to the plate.
Cocoa Beach, the authentic beach town, where the sand is our building blocks and a board is our preferred mode of transportation. A place where memories are awakened by the sound of a wave. It's the home of the original, home to the iconic, and home of the legendary. Cocoa Beach, it's still cool. Your beach vacation begins at GoCocoBeach.com. Don Cooper, Lindsey Schmidt. Here's a get set for the top half of the second inning. We got an interesting comment from Harvey there during he's talking to the home plate umpire and the home Hands plate umpire down. so that right. ball was tailing the whole way after you hit it and he goes, Strike. I didn't get any of the barrel, I got it clear down on the handle. 380 feet clear down on the handle. Play. Good bat but a lot of strength. It's crazy. Play. Push. Brian Zirkel, Brian Zirkel trying to find any way on he can. Wow, right back at Andy Purcell and, and he the throws throw it goes away. low. This might be a triple. That ball smoked Time. right back up the middle, and this is why yep. I don't pitch. Nandy's going to be more mad that he didn't field that ball. That's a ball that he fields 99% of the time, and he rushes so the throw Zirkle because it's Brian Zirkle. How fast he is coming out of the box. Nobody out for the pitcher. He still Number has time. Right, I'm, that, I'm asking if he's okay. This is not a visit. You're welcome. Let me know, sir. The angry dragon, Jason Kendrick, went out there and he knew no matter what, Andy's arms could have been falling Guys, off and he would have told out. him I'm fine. Yeah, he's not going to get out at this so, point. This no. is what they've waited for in yeah. the men's major Thanks. world that series. Was, that down. was more of a settle him down a little bit. There's been a couple of miscues behind wow. him defensively. He made it out. Andy's very passionate and emotional. It's what makes him so great. You know, every everything, every pitch, every at bat, so important to him. All right, hands coming down. Play. Back here. Ooh. Set up, set That's up. A strike. I'm sorry. Play. <laughs> Biting. Watson drops that one into left. So we've got runners in the corners. Nobody out. And we'll go back to the top of the On the corners, corner. nobody out. Stephen Lloyd. Back to Stephen Lloyd. And a solo home run in his first at bat. Again, he's looking for a towel. The temperature definitely came down a little bit, Bernie, but, but the humidity did not go away. Let me know when you're set, sir. Kind of really slowing things down, it seems like. Stephen Lloyd. Yeah, and it's a veteran move right there. He knows he knows what he's doing right now. He's Here we got, go. He's got their best offensive player in the in the box. He understands right now that Smith's feeling their oats a little bit. He's going to slow this down. He's coming down. Slow this Play. down as much as he can. Boyd right one up right the right middle. The box. Coming to the score yeah, give me is a Brian Zirkle. That'll make it 6-1. Run under the corners for Colby Hughes. That'd be fine if you want to. Okay. Hey, the, the wristband's kind of blending in with the ball. No, it's not. It, the wristband... 
to see Steve Smith out there trying, and I don't know if I agree with this. Steve Smith went out and asked the coach of Smith, Dan Smith. I think that Hands wristband is Play. blending in with them. And I know what he's trying to do, but I don't think you win that way with Andy. Right now, wow, Colby Hughes. You're up, you're up, you're up. This ball hit deep. And that one finds the gap in deep right center field. A long run, the gallant attempt by Santana, but that one's down. Watson in to score Lloyd the third. It's seven to one. Still nobody out for the additional hitter. Take a look at the hit by Colby Hughes. And for more on Hughes, effort from Santana. Let's head down to the field and check in with Lindsey Schmidt. Well, Bernie, this Dan Smith lineup is pretty it's athletic. We already Play. know that Freddie Bynum played in the major leagues. Well, Colby Hughes is a former arena football quarterback. Play. He played football and baseball his whole life, and he says that playing in softball is similar to football in that it's competitive, there's the team atmosphere, and the emotions are the Strike. same, and he just loves being athletic and loves the competition. Yeah, don't it's you like that, down. Coop? Isn't that such a big deal? Obviously, Play. all these players who see major yeah. league level and you know the athleticism really can make a huge difference absolutely and that westy goal their their right fielder is and i don't nice. know how all of this works but he's a nationally ranked crossfit champion he what he does for a living is he teaches it and then tours in a reebok tour and well, i've seen some of the videos of his box jumps and his team competition and now and now he's doing uh a few other team CrossFit competition. That's it means he is a freak athlete. And, and Lindsay, you can relate to that. I know that you are really big into the the CrossFit world as Dance well. Down, and sir. That's Play. about as hardcore as it gets, isn't it? That's right, Bernie. Yeah, it's a pretty big deal when you're also a CrossFit. Yeah, we got a That's a play right there. That takes a lot out of you athletically just to go through Olympic lifting, gymnastics movements, and even elements of an endurance athlete. So if you can do all that and compete and do softball, I'd say that's one pretty athletic dude. Yeah, I know, I know sometimes it's so for Wesley. West, I've talked to him many times where he's got to hustle a flight out of a turn. Great play. What a heads up play. It's the only play Junior has there. He comes up. Harvey's expecting the play. That's just a great play. That, 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 not only could that be an inning changer, that, that could be a game changer. Chris Greiner. You see all the emotion going right now. It's what, it's what you want. It's what everybody in this park wants. You want to see the big dogs chew on each other a little bit, and that's what you've got right now. Yep. Hands coming down. Play. Griner. They flip it a second for one, and they can't turn two. That's something that almost looked to me right away off the bat that it was going to be a double play. But it's also a point right there where we talked about it last night where we saw a couple of teams where guys didn't hustle in that play. Here's your big catcher, 290, 300 pounds. As soon as he hit the ball down, he was on his way. There was no, woe is me, I missed it. It was, I'm going to bust my butt to first base and, and prevent this. And also, I, I'm not exactly sure what Lulu was thinking because it was a, a little bit slow in the middle that probably bought Griner at that time. But again, Griner's running all the way out of the box. Thank you. I didn't see him over there. Back to Big John Williams. All right, hands coming down, sir. Play! Corey. Run Jonathan away. Williams with a base hit. Time! If nothing else, missing, letting them know they're not going to go away. Taking advantage of every spot, five in the first, four in the second, and they they know they can't sit on their heels though because it's a smash a team that can wipe away this eight-run advantage in the blink of an eye. Jason Matusik. This would be big right here. Matusik could get up out of this building and hang a three right now. Then there's then Play. then I think smash it will feel the pressure. Right now I don't think they're feeling it. He took a shot at it. Foul! They know they've only, you know, they've only hit one time. They're Thank comfortable, you. but you start getting a double-digit lead in this stadium, Bernie. We've seen, 
we've seen how hard that you know the Thunder team that came in here and they were yep. kind of everybody's chic pick after what happened in the conference. It's a one and two team here. Yep. And they and they had to make an incredible comeback this morning this against the, the one against the Newbridge team. We're not sure if it's the one Hands of the greatest comebacks down. in the in the tournament right. or one of the greatest meltdowns. We've talked about it all day long of you know giving up a twenty something run lead in a stadium is you don't see it that often. So you, you tip your hat to Thunder for that, but they dug right. another hole and couldn't get out of it. Going to split them. Jason Matusik uh -oh. going to second. Time. John Williams at third. Chris Reiner to the score. It's another five run in and the one. Thank you, sir. The right fielder, number 12, Wesley Will. What do you think? You'll be surprised with the start? Uh, you, you never know what can happen, but what I'll be surprised with is if this game isn't tied at some point in time. If, you know, they've only hit one Dan's time. Coming down. Dan Smith got him back in the game because he wanted to be foul! a major World Series champion. Again, yeah, I mean, he's, he's won a few, and I've been blessed to be with him. Uh, during some of that, and you know, he's, the best he, I could. we're looking at a couple yeah. of the best sponsors. Travis Rosmondo sitting down the third base line right now, yeah, watching this, waiting for his team. After. You know, we've got we've got that I know of three Hall of Fame sponsors in the building right now, and Travis Rosmondo, Dan Smith, and and Eddie Minosi. I mean, three of the I believe ten or twelve that are in there. So royalty you, is definitely in the house, and I believe Herb Price is probably around here too. I don't want to forget him. So all right, hands you know, coming Four down, of that sir. small family are, are in this building tonight. Play. Set up, set up. Right. Missed it. Play made. And the side had retired, but look at this start. Five in the first. They got five more in the second inning. And Dan Smith try to pull the upset over the regular season champions leading 10 to 1. Three experiences to have in one trip. Go Titusville.com. Less than one year later, here we are. And we've been very busy and believing in this project, giving this association the new chapter. Now this is the final stop for at least the next 20 years. The Space Coast is becoming the nation's premier sports destination with the UAAA Space Coast Complex. The bottom of the second inning, Dan Smith hey, leading 10-1. Leading things off, it'll be the left-handed hitting center fielder. Hands coming down. 21, Play. Nick Santana. Nick Santana had an Jake. incredible championship a year Play. ago. The mix, the mix. Play. Set up. Three. Back here. Just missed it. Play. Zirkle's tracking that one. One center fielder to the other. And a deep fly ball caught by Zirkle for out number one here. Yeah, I got you. And the hard thing is this is a team that can put 10 up in an inning, but I think sometimes when things don't go your way, maybe get a little bit more tense. Sure, you get pressure. That's what we've always talked about. You know, we've talked about the 3-3-3 three, three, three rule here. Just keep putting even the threes. Fives is a ton of pressure. It's easy. We've always thought it's easy to be a front runner. It's easy to, fr to free swing. One of the big things that the, the Andy Purcell, Don DiDonatis kind of run teams have been in the past is they've been able to come from behind and win. They've been able to win from the front. They've been very good winning in every way they can. But they're not panicking yet, but right now you've given Smith a whole bunch of a whole bunch of this is caught. Oh, Col almost. Colby Hughes did everything he could there, knowing that the Zirkle would be behind him. And that sinking line drive is a two-base hit for Brandon. Time. Jones. 
Yes, sir. What will happen, though, is if, you know, runner, if they can keep the uh, 9 7 6 run lead as this chips a little bit, then those swings get a whole lot tighter. Look at this effort. Man with more hits than anyone in the world. There's your quarterback laying out. You said quarterbacks weren't athletes. Dennis Ruley, the more hits than any other man in the history of this tournament. Hands coming down. Play. I think that's going to hang up there for him. Line drive to left of Ruley. That Time. hangs up. And I just play by Colby Hughes. Now, this becomes a pretty big at bat. Believe it or not, just chipping one up here right now makes it feel like they're sitting right where they are. If they throw a zero up, you're going to see Dan Smith running the dugout like they've won the World Series. You're going to see a whole bunch of energy out of these guys right now if, if, they, if they can just get this out. Stay awake, Cam. Stay awake. Hands coming down. Point. On third. Here is Junior. Always has really one of the best eyes Point. in the entire game. Yep. Back. He's going to find a way to get on board. Point. Strike. He's okay with that. He knows how to hit no. with two strikes. And that's how, that's a little closer. That's how he can walk. As many times he does, he's not afraid to hit in the hole. Hands coming down. Play. It is caught. Fly ball to right field. There it is. Fly ball. Will smash it down without ends the inning. It remains Dan, Dan, Smith, Dan Smith, Smith by one. nine. We will now go to the top. end of the third. Are you okay? Number three. You're right, okay? Yeah, dude, he, he took that first step and threw a chunk of clay. And it you hit right. Did you not? I had to close I that saw, eye. I saw you. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. <laughs> so I won't be able to see it. USSA is the stage where the nation's top sports stars shine for the country to see. On the diamond, the top baseball players are looking to be chosen by the Select 30 and compete as a team at the National Amateur Baseball Championships. In Fast Pitch, USA Elite selected the World Fast Pitch Championships brings together premier players and teams from across the country to play for the title and continue their dream of one day playing professional softball. While Nationwide Conference USSA hosts the stars of slow pitch softball. Take your game to the next level. Play the best. Play USSA. Freddie Bynum leading off. There's that quick out. All this work though, dude, here's, this is a kind of what we call a flip inning a little bit. If Smith can put three, four, or five back up, now the pressure's really on. This is where you're gonna get Andy, and, and, and he's kind of in a good spot there at the bottom of their lineup right now. He's gonna try to, you're gonna get his best pitches. He knows if he can get out of a zero, no harm, no foul, let's go right back in here and go to work. If they get four, you know, three, four, five more right now, now then they're talking about how many times they've got to flip their lineup to run them down. This whole Hands this whole down. game changes on, on what happens this inning. Play. That's a big, not a big hit for a circle. Time. Well, the big thing is right now, barring a, barring a double play, you're going to bring Stephen Lloyd to the plate again. And as we saw in his very first pitch and very the very first pitch of the game and his very first swing, he can get right up out of this yard. I don't care if it's left, right, middle, wherever. So, hands coming down, sir. Play. Me one. 
quite. That's down. And you see Zirkel hustling all the way. And that's the base knock for Watson. Tied. And they're on the corners. How big is that to get a hit from Zirkel and to get a hit from particularly Elsie Watson now get the top of your lineup and Lloyd a chance this, to do something. This is how you knock smash it off right so here. This is this is the game. This is the, the recipe. Your bottom two chip, and now your bigs have to come through. One of these two guys have to hit a gap or get out of this place. That's that's how you put yourself in a spot to win this game. Hands coming down. Play. That one just snuck by Junior. And LC went down. That's and not good news. Time is called. Left field for yep. Lloyd. Absolutely. Hamstring. Yeah, that's a hamstring. That there's the game changer back the other way right there. Z Wallum. LC Watson. Here he is. You, you can see he felt it right there. He was thinking about what's going to happen. And and as the smash it would tell you, you're going to go as far as Andy Purcell can take you. Right. Nothing about Jeff Grouse over there as their backup pitcher, but it's the greatest of all time. Same here. You can see you can see Tommy Blum out there, Smith's backup pitcher, very serviceable pitcher, but LC Watson is a gamer. His team plays behind him right now. They've got a they've got a lead. They're feeling it right now. The last thing they want to do is see him come out come out of the game. And that's what they're talking about right now. You can see the look on Stephen Lloyd's face at first base, kind of, oh boy. And you can see it goes. He feels it. You can kind of see that. And I can tell you, I've, I've been a teammate with LC. Well, you can tell this is, uh, I think we've talked about it there the other course of the week. This turf was just laid at the very beginning of the week. Obviously, Hurricane Irma disrupted a lot of things in the state of Florida with the power. And one of the bigger stories is Night of Joy is a huge Christi Christian concert that took place a day before Irma hit. They had a huge stage that was on this field that they couldn't take off, obviously, because of Hurricane Irma coming through. So it sat on the field a lot longer than they wanted. They needed to replace tons and tons I mean, no. of turf. But I think it really came in pretty nicely, no, especially as late as it came yeah, in. Yeah, and I don't think this had anything to do with the, with the turf for sure. I think that this is just a case of Hands coming down. a long Play. season. And what you're hoping for right now is Colby Hughes to get out of here. That's a miss there. And the fly ball to straightaway center field. The runner two outs. Gathering time. So right now they got the, still got a good inning working for smash it. For smash it with one out or, or with only one run in and two outs. See from that angle, just completely, completely missed it. Got under it. We got a future broadcaster joining us here in the booth. What she wants to do when she finishes her basketball career. Hands coming right. down. Get her and we can find her a spot. My goddaughter and the Flight. daughter of USSA Hall of Famer Johnny McCraw. Just out. I think she just left the CEO's booth. They were delivering some Not gifts from the girls. Flight. Donnie Stop. Hammond's right to junior. Hey. And that one may have not been what we saw a night ago, but it's equally as big. Dan Smith scores just a run. So in the inning for Smith, they get one run on three hits. This comes at a quick two. It comes real quick. It works just as well as the miraculous play. It ends the inning right there. The question mark to me is, is LC going to be able to continue? He, he's having a heck of a time even getting off the field right now, Bernie.
Each and every day you come out here to the park, you give everything you got. Behind every good team is a great coach. Our hands are not in here, hands are out. Today's coaches mold tomorrow's leaders. A lot of hard work. We know the blood, sweat, and tears that go into the job. And that's why this season, coaches fly free when booking their team's travel with us. That's all right, come on, fine. Save time, save money, fly with the Air Travel Group. George! All right, we are back here, top of the third inning. We're going to bring you a little guest commentator here, Bernie. Two, 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 As we two, talked two. about Aubrey McCraws in the, in the box, the daughter two, of Hall of Famer Johnny McCraw and also Mitchell. the daughter of soon-to-be Hall of Famer Tammy Higginbotham. So pretty good bloodlines right here for right, here to join in two USSSA Hall of Famers on both sides of it. So you want to do, I'm going to bring her in for you and I see what our 10-year-old newscaster of the day can do. All right, here top of the third inning. Welcome to the show. Hands coming down, sir. So I hear you're, you're a basketball star. Obviously, both go. parents Hall of Famers. Come out here, what do you love so much about the game? Um, I think it's really fun Play. just to play yep. and just to Strike. be with my teammates yep. to um, encourage you me just here. to Hands be more down. active. Play. Well, I know that you've been around a lot of softball games over the years with all these family, family members as Hall of Famers. What do you what do you enjoy most about coming out and, and getting to double, watch all double. these great softball the players? Um, I like seeing my family members play. Um, I like how they're just a great example for me to grow up and to be in their presence. And I just love my family a lot. I gotta wonder, are you media coached by by someone? Because it seems like you got all the right answers. You got to be watching a lot of sports on TV. Yeah, my family is a lot with sports. Um, I do a lot of sports and hands coming down, sir. Play. And it's just really fun for me. Yep. Back here. I gotta imagine right here. that. Well, you enjoy Pick basketball. You gotta have a pretty good softball game with the, the yep. bloodline you come from. Do you enjoy playing softball as well? Yeah, I really like playing softball because um, I get a lot of action being the pitcher, which is really Tight. fun for me. And I just think it's really fun. We'll have you break down this play. Is it a catch out in right field? What do you see here? And now into the box. The four-time World Series MVP. All right. Thirteen-time All-World player. Nice little snag out there. Here's Andy Purcell. Hands coming down. Tommy right. Columbus coming to pitch. Andy Purcell here, another Hall of Famer. Who's your favorite player outside of your family members you like watching? Mm, one of my favorite Back. family members. Just shorten up a little bit. Mm, I'd have to say she's not a softball player, but she's one Play. of my favorite basketball players, and that'd be Kelsey Plum. Outside. Okay. Awesome. Washington. Why not? A, they got a, a fabulous university out there. I assume is that the goal for you to play at Washington? Still carrying. Okay. You got. You How many games you get to see at the end of the day for Washington? He missed it. Let's go. Gotta help these guys out. I see a lot of games for them. Ryan Harvey, the batter. Runners on the corners. Excuse me, base is loaded, I should say. What do you think that this... No, absolutely, no, absolutely not. Smash a yes. team that's down has got to do to get going. He's carrying it. Is an um, inch difference I think they in have to work Look, could really it be hard and they no, have sir. to what are, what keep are we their eye on the We're not ball. talking balls and strikes here. Uh, okay. As okay. it's coming All right. to get them more runs to be able to hit farther. What do you call the Grand Slam? I like to call it the Grand Bacon because bacon's delicious. All right. Ryan Harvey, I definitely Hands assume he loves Play. Grand Slams, and I got to assume that he likes pitch, bacon. And here, a rare miss for him. Harvey, I thought, had a chance to dial in a Grand Slam. He's going to get a sacrifice fly that's going to score a run. 
So I gotta assume that bacon is your favorite food then? I don't really have a favorite food. No? Anything that they cook, I'm sure, is pretty good, right? Yeah. What do you enjoy the most about coming down here to Orlando? Um, yep. I like spending time with my mom's team because I feel like they really care for me, and it's just fun to watch them play. How they do today? Hands coming down. Play. Um. Well, I wasn't here last week, so I don't know how they did. Okay. But I've been hearing that Jay, they did pretty Levi! good. Levi! No, live ball appeal, he's good. Huh? Live ball appeal, he's good. Nice. That'll retire Collins. Brandon Collins. Retired. He's good right there. There's now two across the inning. Two across here in the inning. Okay. Live light ball appeal. He was good. I, he was right on, on the catch. Two away. And here is Rainier. Yep. He's short. He's quick. He can field. You, love, you gotta love athletic players. Yeah. Oh, you going to Cooperstown out here? Up there. Tommy, let's go. That was Cooperstown, but what, what can you tell me about that experience? Um, Hands coming down. Play. It was really fun. Okay, it was good. Um, since my family loves baseball, yep. we got to see a lot of baseball stuff. Okay. And yep. I like when we go to cities in downtown places that just have Hands this down. old style. Play. When you see that they're like from an older time and it hasn't really changed, I think it's like Play. really cool on history. Yep. Here we go, there we go! And the center play made. That'll retire the side. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week down here. But at that height, it's going to be a little bit It's 11 to 3 as we head to the fourth. Because I guess because the backstop's so far back, it looks like it's landed right behind the plate. Right. And I told you it looks different. It's just coming back just a little bit. Coco Beach, the authentic beach town, where the sand is our building blocks and a board is our preferred mode of transportation. A place where memories are awakened by the sound of a wave. It's the home of the original, home to the iconic, and home of the legendary. Coco Beach, it's still cool. Your beach vacation begins at GoCocoBeach.com. Three experiences to have in one trip. Go Titusville.com. Less than one year later, here we are. Are right, we back here for the top of the fourth inning? Chad Dirk leading things off. Now there's a lot of really talented players. Uh, uh, uh. As you see Dirk slide into second base. A lot of hustle Hi. through on that play there by Dennis yep. Rooley and for more on that, let's head down to the field once again and catch in with Lindsay Schmidt. Lindsay? Thanks, Bernie. Well, as you yeah, guys talked about it earlier in the broadcast, guys, Dennis Rooley picked up his 300th career hit in the World Series last night. That makes him the all-time leader in hits in a World Series. He passes Brett Helmer on that list. And I just want to say our kid caster did a fantastic job. If she's got any questions, she can ask them to me. All right, see that? Maybe that's the next spot. we got to send her down to Lindsay. Send her to Lindsay. I'd be delighted. How about Dennis Rooley and the, the longevity that he has had in this game, Coop? A Hall of Famer, I feel like he was inducted 10 years ago at this point, right? I think he was, actually. I think it's Here about the right time he was. I actually think it was. Might have been 11 uh, years ago or so. Down. Yeah, he's just a kind of a wind-up toy. He just keeps right on going. Griner at the gap. It's going to run away from Collins. Oh, Can't get it. Glove. And again, hustling. The big man hustles all the way around. 
It scores a run. Goes to the books as a triple. And that and is Dan Smith doing football. everything right here on a Friday night. Trying to pull off this upset. But I think that you know, I think what we what we saw in that last inning too when, was that Tommy Blum came in and they had the bases loaded and they wiggled out wiggled out of there, you know, with two runs in an inning that we've seen smash uh, smash in the past, hang eight, nine, ten, twelve, the runs we talked about. That was a huge inning. So now now we're we're starting to count out. So Smith's Point. starting to really think this is a reality right Strike. now. Strike! And the old you know the old saying hope's cheap indulge yourself. Right, right now that. hope is getting really cheap in that Dan Smith dugout. Set up, set up. Plate. Jonathan Williams at the plate. That's going to bite, too. It's another base hit. It's going to score another run. Tie. You've got to think back, Coop, to that first inning. It kind of really set the tone because... It could have been yep. just a one nothing Dan Smith lead. Smasher puts up six. It's completely over. Instead, the one turned into five. Smash it held it just to run, and then the momentum really started to shift. Obviously, yeah. there's still a lot of softball left to be played. Absolutely. There's, there's tons, but right now, you can see right now, they're free swinging. They're, they're not under pressure. They're looking at Andy's first pitch. And, and even this, you see the big man right there, so you're going to be. And they're going to try to go backside and take all the forces off. Wow. Time. This is what you see. This is it's, it's amazing thing, and you, I know you all the football games you do and basketball games. Momentum is momentum. a crazy thing, and you can see it right now. Eddie Minosi, the 84-year-old sponsor, is out on the feet right there, screaming and hollering. You can see him out there. Well, you know, you think about the other side of it too. Coop is the faithful here. The more this goes along, the more they start to get into that groove, thinking Dan Smith, and of course these guys love the underdogs. Yeah, and, and there's coming there's down. no doubt about it. That, you know, even we saw that in the home run contest last night. You know, nobody was rooting for Andy. Nobody was rooting, and it's not that you know like he's been great for so long. And I call it you know a little bit of the Michael Jordan effect. You know, here we got to play there. He's he not heads up by John diamond. Williams again, gets you the run. Right. But it's, it's kind of that like Michael Jordan or, or the LeBron James thing or even the Kobe Bryant. If you're not a diehard fan, right. you just root against them, right? It's, yep. it's the Alabama. You're either an Alabama fan or you want Alabama to, to, to lose every game. Absolutely. There's no, in, there's no in between on that. And that's what's happened with these guys. And I promise you that if you're not wearing a, wearing a smash at scene jersey in this stadium right now, you're rooting against these guys. And it, they also feed off of down. it. Play. Freddie buying him. Oh, oh, wow. wow. Junior has done Ryan it again. And we've had, we've had, uh, the interesting thing is they've had a couple of miscues, but you've had the two great plays by by Junior there, and the one by Briggs that's lost a little bit in this, or this lead can be much bigger. That is a great play. That ball was flat on him and Freddie Bryan was actually thinking I might have an inside the park home run when he hit that because it was going all the way to the wall. Let's see if that turns the momentum. You see Andy Purcell get popped down. up there. Play. Two Strike. away. Here's another big back. Can they roll over to Steven? You know, or actually be Tommy Blum now. Can we can we roll to Tommy Blum? And if, even if Tommy Play. doesn't get a hit after circle then you're back to your order your top of your order leading off off of Andy Purcell oh and man oh man he has taken some shots tonight yeah well, that's two by circle so I got a sneaking hunch probably gonna be something said here and they understand this is the major world series Andy's not gonna be upset about a ball coming down he's gonna be mad he didn't feel that he understands what's on the line here this is to get to the winners bracket finals and everybody here knows that you got to do what you've got to do so there's I promise you he's he's more the only thing you're gonna see anger about him is that he didn't feel it and throw him out so again, even if we get an out here, Bernie, now we've got the you know the, the Smith team has a has a, the the team leading off at the top Hands of the order. You ready? Hands coming down. Play. Thomas Bloom. That might that might triangle. This one might that fall. might triangle. No. No. And Santana and says, and no way. Come follow me back to the dugout. 
for more fun and excitement. It was an inning that was filled with spectacular defense. But can smash it sports find an answer? Look at Santana in this long run to come in and grab it. Good. Nick Smart, now let's see if they can turn that two, turn two great defensive plays into an offensive yeah. inning here. I have not. Mm -mm. USSA is the stage for the nation's top sports stars shine for the country to see. On the diamond, the top baseball players are looking to be chosen by the Select 30 and compete as a team at the National Amateur Baseball Championships. In Fast Pitch, USA Elite selected the World Fast Pitch Championships brings together premier players and teams from across the country to play for the title and continue their dream of one day playing professional softball. While Nationwide Conference USSA hosts the stars of slow pitch softball. Take your game to the next level. Play the best. Play USSA. Hands coming down. Play. We are back here for the top of the fifth inning. Inside. Nick Santana leading things Play. off. LC Watson. Play. Started the game. Play. Let's check in now with Lindsey Smith, who has an update on the starting pitcher for Dan Smith. Lindsey. That's right, Bernie. I passed LC getting treatment Foul ball. on his leg. They were wrapping ball ice on his lower ball. leg where the cap was, so it could be a hamstring yeah. like you guys were speculating oh. earlier, but it looks like he's done for the night. And that's a foul ball on the they call it a foul side. ball. So there is one Nick Santana one out. fouls now out. In the box, the left fielder, Brandon Here you go. Dillon. And I can see how frustrated he was with that. He's working one and two. Well, again, Do your you're, thing. Do your thing up there, Tommy. Let's go, boy. You're starting to count out a little bit. You know, you, the, the, it's still early, but it's kind of that. It's still early, but it's kind of feeling like it's getting late. Right. Stay away. Hands coming down. Play. Yeah. And that could have been one. Mike and that's that's the plays that Smith made right. all the way through this, and they got to keep Mike in them right there. That's you know Freddie Bynum. You know, he's there for his defense. Second yes. nine. He makes this play 95% of the time. Hands coming down. Play! Here is yep. Strike! Ruley who takes a called strike. Normally when he shivvies his feet back off that a little bit, he looks to go in that right center field gap. Yep. But Zirkle's know. cheating him that way, so it'll be interesting to see where he takes this. Hands coming down. Play! Good mix, good mix. Roll up! <laughs> and and so really, that's why he's got what he does. Other hits, right? Hustling to third is Brandon Dillon. That's what he does. Right. Now 301 career World Series hits. Runners at the corner. One out for the shortstop, the Hall of Famer. The lefty playing out of the air of Florida, Donnie Didanatos. And what you'll see also here a little bit, like we talked about, how Andy's always going to set his defense. He knows how he wants to pitch. Stay the guys. It's a little bit of the fall Stay off here with Tommy, who's, who's a, like I said, a very good pitcher, but he hasn't pitched this long at this level, and he's, he's hands coming down. He's Play. not exactly sure how to slow it down. I don't think yet, and set some things up. Man, right off Bloom and hey. Junior going to second. He's safe. And he did not have that in the left center field and then run it hard the whole way, turns it into a two bagger. So give Donnie and That's the one thing about Junior, he is going to hustle. Yeah, we've talked about this in the broadcast over the last season or so. When his games changed so much. When he first came up, 
back in the mountaintop days, you couldn't get him out as a leadoff hitter because he would just basically, if it hit the dirt on the left side, you couldn't throw him out coming out of the box. And Hands coming down. As, as he's gotten older, his, his, he's changed his swing some. And that one already Briggs. Center field. That's going to be a two back up the middle. Make it a double score. He runs all the way to the second base. He's going right. to score two more. Now three across. Mike. They're coming to light Mike. here. Mike. We go Mike. To the top for Jake McKinney. That ball smoked up the middle. And the interesting thing I think they made that the move they made when they brought Blum in at again, you know, Steve Smith's a, a younger coacher. I'm, right. I'm a little surprised when they made that move. If I'm coaching this team right now, I would have brought Blum in to the DH spot. Because even though LC can't run right now, I, you, you can maybe run him back out there right now to steal an inning pitching. And the problem you have right now is if you re-enter LC, you burn one. Where if you, where if you had put him in that DH spot and you came up with a big swing, you could have re-entered your DH and just rode Blum out. And it's a big deal because if you bring Elsie back in and he can't go, he can't go, then you have nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Then he's like, when it counts. Right? So, it counts. so that's one of the one of the things that I think if you again, you're, you're not expecting your starting pitcher to get hurt, but it's one of those things that you know you try to think yourself through those situations. Those are one of the things I actually will, I will actually make notes to myself and look at them at times like that and say, what if something you thought about on Monday? We'll see the speed out there of Westy. We're going to drive a double tag right there. A good throw home. He's going to be safe. Beautiful. And credit Branch with the RBI on the sacrifice fly. Corey Briggs showing that great speed. Tags from second and going. And look at this for his mono dugout fired up. So only an out. From Briggs. And they're putting it all together here this inning. 14-7 now. For the fourth run of the inning, and now the box is all of famous. Here's the play of the plate. The Let me get it wrong. He was going to be safe if, if Ryan would have rocked the ball with him. But you're, you're pretty much now. You painted yourself into the. You're going to have to ride Tommy the rest of the way here. Yeah. Do what? It's funny how a hamstring can change your game. Right. Hands coming down. Play. Andy Purcell with one out. That's a line drive base hit. Well, we knew this was would come at a point yep. that big inning. That ball absolutely crushed. The base knock for Purcell will bring up the catcher, number 35, Ryan Harvey. And now you got to deal with. Ryan Harvey, who could probably hit it all the way to my house. Might even be able to hit your house in Washington. Yeah, he, he's never-ending power for sure. Hands coming down. Play! Play! Foul. Gonna snap foul. foul! Foul. That one hit a long way into the foul. One away. Hands coming down. Play. Four in in this inning. There you go. That's over. Good mix, good mix. Play. Harvey waits for it and drives it through the hole. And he takes third. And Harvey bangs that one in the left center field. The runners are at the corners. Yep. So what are you gonna do to try to stop this momentum? Well, I, the, the problem you, the problem you're in again when you when you go. when you lose your horse on the mound, and that's what LC is. He's one of the three or four best. This is where you're at right now. You got to weather the storm. You've got to catch every miss that comes your way. And, and as you've seen over the years, these are such great hitters. Sometimes misses don't come your way very often. Right now, backing off. Hands coming down. Play. 
and is only an out. And right now, it, right. Tommy's not getting ahead, so they're sitting on him. So now he's back to 3-0, and they know it's probably going to be a little bit of love coming right now. Time is called. Andrew Collins calls time. Got a chance to bring Smash It within four with a home run right here. And it's coming down. Play. There it is. There it goes. Foul ball. Fair ball, ball home run. Fair. That ball is gone. Andrew Collins, a three-run bomb. And it's now a 14-10 game. McKinney! This is cleared two out for Luis Serena. Big time, big time softball here. Put together by Smash It Sports. Yes, sir. Ramey, the batter. Stay here. Hands coming down. Play. Foul. Ramey trying to drive and join the home run party as well. What got him back in this, though, was the base hits. You know, they've had the one big swing yep. by Collins, but what got them back in here is they settled down and just started knowing that Tommy's going to Probably not have quite the knuckleball that LC has. I'll let you know. Huh? Hands coming down. Play. This could be big. They finally get an out. It seems like it was a year ago. That's a third out because the board was wrong, if you remember, because the the Santana home run that they put up was actually a dead ball out. Ball two. Look at this. Seven in the fifth. It's a four run game with two innings. and every day you come out here to the park, you give everything you got. Behind every good team is a great coach. Our hands are not in here, hands are out. Today's coaches mold tomorrow's leaders. A lot of hard work. We know the blood, sweat, and tears that go into the job. And that's why this season, coaches fly free when booking their teams travel with us. That's all right, come on, it's fine. Save time, save money, fly with the Air Travel Group. Here we are, fifth inning, 14-10. The pressure is starting to mount here for Dan Smith, who it seemed like uh, basically everything was going their way. Hands coming down. Quite. Now they know they're in a shootout. I think they, they know they've obviously lost. Boyd Jr. can't snag that one. That would have been really big. And Lloyd with the hot smash to left. So a lead off. Seems like it's almost impossible to get Lloyd. And look at this. Uh, the ball goes into the dugout. And Lloyd is going to go to right third. Here. Right here. Gonna go, yeah. I'm not sure. As long as he had first base. It doesn't matter where he was. For, if he had occupied first it's two so bases from his last. Lloyd was already first Yes. Harvey. So he gets one plus one. Awarded third base. Jason Branch went flying into the dugout trying to save it. He was asking for the trainer. Man at third, nobody out for the left fielder. Yeah. It's one of those situations, there's a lot of areas that are just going to run into a fence. 
but not if you're at the stairs. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Hands coming down. Play. Colby Hughes. Mm. He missed Wrong it. Wrong part of the yard there, Colbs. It's going to score a run, but they're going to need a whole lot more than that. Yeah, but they're chipping. For sure. Jason Branch is getting beat up in this inning. Harvey. So, so Brendan Hughes is an RBI. Slide is score. One away. Base so we heard actually on the microphones before there. The, one of the coaches of the Smith team go out and ask the home plate umpire, Ken Hawk, about the re-entry rule because they had put their pitcher in for their pitcher. And I think at that point in Hands time, they kind of realized what we were talking about earlier. Maybe we Point. should have staggered that staggered that until we found out because now they have no one, one struck well. It's coming down. But there Donnie the Hammonds nice makes the play final for two. It looks like it's a slight yeah. drizzle. Yeah, it does. Falling here. It is for sure. See my talent can dig at night. A dusting yeah. of rain. <laughs> releasing it. And the crowd's starting to scamper. It's yeah. nothing heavy. I would say that if this happened at noon, you'd be really happy about right. it. Right. But we've got Max S Max Max Exorcist. Yeah. Hands coming down, <laughs> sir. To the Point. beer lines. To the beer line, folks. Chad Durek. That's not gonna go, I don't think. Look at this. Momentum, uh, momentum, momentum. The momentum is on the side. Pat, uh, Jason, Kendrick, towels to cover. and Smash It Sports. Got a towel or something to cover. And Jason, by the way, is down on the sideline with our own Lindsay Schmidt. Lindsay? That's right, Bernie. I'm here with Jason no. Kendrick. Jason, this is your first year as a manager. You've come from a playing background. What's it like transitioning into that managerial role? It's Mystic Dunes. Well, uh, for this team, it's not a hard task because we've got players like Andy Roussel, Don DiDonatis Jr., uh, you know, these guys are on the field coaches, so they're, they're leaders, they know what to do. Uh, I really don't have to do a lot. I can't take the credit for our success. These players are winners and uh, we uh, we just we, we just got a bunch of coaches. So for me, it hadn't been that hard. All right, here we go. Position. Need a batter. Now you've played with Andy and Don and have known them for a really long time. Is there a difference of how you interact with them now than as you, you know, when you were a player? No, I think the only difference is when I played outfield. Balls in! And if I didn't catch yes, everything, sir. Andy got on me. Uh, he still gets on me, but it's not. It's about different things. So no, it's a, uh, it's the same, uh, same type of relationship, same type of conversations. We're peers. They respect me. I respect them. Uh, they're two of the best. Yeah, it's coming down. Play. Now you guys lost to this Dan Smith team in the conference championships. You're down to them now, but it looks like you have the momentum in your favor. What do you guys have to do to get Strike. back in this game? Well, I think we've got to straight down, straight down the, the edge. Fly balls Never waver. Take what they give us. We, we've had a lot Hands of coming fly down. ball Play. outs since we got here on Wednesday. Uh, we haven't hit a lot of home runs, but you know, if we don't hit the home runs, we need to, the people that hit the homers like Harvey and Collins and Santana. Yes, they need to keep hitting them. Uh, we've got some guys that are kind of on the fence where. They've got to be perfect. Yeah, to hit it out so what they need to do is take what the other team gives us. But like, you know, uh, we like our chances. We're the only team. We haven't played well in the tournament yet, but hopefully this things will start clicking. Just to make you mad. All right. Well, thanks, Coach, for your time. Back to you guys up in the booth. Thanks so much, Lindsay. That is it. Obviously, a transition when you go from being a player to being a coach. And coming down. Play. Obviously, everybody's got pretty big respect for everyone at this level as we that see Raymond well Dillon hits it back and that but one is going to be caught. I think that's kind of what nice Jason Kendrick is talking about. He's got a couple people that can like mash it so and they had a couple others that maybe they seem to take what they can now get. Well, and I think when he's talking about Dillon, he has never-ending power as we saw last night in the home run derby, but left field just plays bigger here. You've got to be perfect here and you'll see yep. when Andy tries to do it, he tucks it at the 335 line. You know, or Chad Durrett, guys like that that have played here a lot, it gets out big. It plays shorter here to right field. We've all always said, you know, they show it at 335, but we've thought it's it played more down. like 305. So, and that's where he knows he, he mentioned Santana in that list. <laughs> Santana's not a big guy, but he snap Play. hooks everything as we signed with the home run this in this inning. Right. This and one gets down for Ruley. That's what they're talking about. Takes a base hit. Yeah, Santana, that's obviously. Time. This is his spot, obviously. We talk about anybody that's a left handed hitter. It's a short porch. 
And the base knock for Dennis Ruley. Dennis has two out of three and into the box at shortstop. Number 33, Don Didanas. Here is Junior. Hey, watch yourselves over here. The slight drizzle continues. Probably still pretty difficult for you to pick up at home. I would call it a dusting. Hands coming down. Play. Pitch inside for a ball. Play. This one gets down. And back-to-back -back spots really in the same location. And Time. Not for Dina Nottis, so two out of three. And now and stepping out of two for three night. Basement. Number six. Playing out of Salome Springs, Arkansas, Corey Briggs. Not where Bloom thought he would be. No, and it's you know he's like I said he's he's out there doing a good job, but even that that's that's a weird defensive set they had right there. If you look at how he pitched it, he pitched it to give Junior that Junior had that hole there, and he threw a and pitch coming that, down. that let Play. him get into that hole, and that's that's where the great ones. It's coming down, I think. It oh fooled him the whole oh, way. Hit the turf. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And there's the break. That one with That's the play he's got to make right there, like we talked about the other way. They made all those plays early in this game, and he got fooled on that ball the whole way. I don't know if it's knuckled on him. It's hard to tell if that was knuckling, but he misread that the whole way. Something was strange about that. Now the rain, the rain's actually picked up a little bit now. So I think as they were talking about, go for base the options here. is if you bring in Elsie Watson, you can't take him out, right? That's the That's issue it. here. He goes out there and he can't go again. If you, if you re-enter him, because he can only come back into the spot Hands that he down, came. Sir. So Play. Yep. Play. Play. Would you rather be hitting or would you rather be fielding when the rain comes down? Is there... Obviously, when you watch Major League Baseball games, they're not playing in this Hands spot. Coming down. Well, right. they do through slow pitch. I'm from Seattle. Yep. I can do them both. And that's the base on ball. Wow. But, I, but I, think, I think, honestly, the advantage goes to the hitting team. You cover up your bats. You, you tie up your group. And it's, we got it picked up real good here. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get a delay here on this one. It's picked up pretty quick. You can see the UICs now over there talking about it. Yep. All right, let's go. Make sure we get one at a time we'll see here. see some hustling on our cameras as well to get them covered up. Matt's coming down. Matt probably jinxed us with this. I'd ask him before the broadcast, are we in good shape? And he says, yeah, so good I took the covers off. So we can blame this one on him. Yep. It is coming down heavily now. Right. Hands coming down. It was Play. really, really, really rainy earlier. And Andy Purcell with a base hit back up the middle. Kind of reminds me of the Backman game a couple years ago. Remember that one? Yes, I do. Very similar situation. I think we're going to surprise we haven't cleared the field yet, I think. Okay. We got time. And the only reason I can think you're calling time right now is that I'm you're hoping you're hoping the officials maybe stop this for a second because I don't think you'd want to leave your fielders just standing in this. So I'm assuming he thinks it's close enough that if he can talk to Ken Hawk, he can talk him into pulling him off the fields and stopping the momentum. Here we go. We got you out. One. What? Jay! One. Wow. One out. It is really coming down. Yeah. But it might be one of those situations where as long as we don't have Don't say the L word. You said it. <laughs> We're able to go. Sorry. You said the L word. Let me know when you're set. Brian Harvey. Runners on the corners. Hands coming down. Play. 
Nope. I think he missed that, but again, as high as he hit this, we talked about playing in the rain. You can see Zirkel trying to shut himself around it. No throw here, no throw here. That one deep enough for Branch to tag and score, so we are tied up at 15 all. Two outs. And it all happened in the blink of an eye as you... That's what happens though at this level, right? Yeah. You didn't catch a ball in left yep. field that you, you know, play you made, you, you had to play it short, you didn't make, and it, it kind of the same thing that got, it got, that got smash it seen into the hole was a couple of defensive miscues, Bernie, that got him in the hole, and the, a couple of defensive and miscues here have play. gotten him out of the hole. Nope. And you walk, beside it. you walk in a run. Dean Clare. Right. And Drew Collins gone. Mike. And it's the first time tonight, if you can imagine that, that we've seen Smash It They've get in the lead. Seven in the inning and into the box. Back to back Ooh, seven Serena. so far. unloads on this one and he knew it. Luis Rainio. Sounds like they made the right call by letting them play through it. The rain came and it is gone. Hopefully it stays gone. Was that going to hang up enough? It does. Inning over but for the first time today Smash it, sports in the lead, the leading field, in by 15, Zirkle, that excuse me, 17 to 15 as we head to but the sixth Smash inning. Their first lead of the the pressure game. is Eight on Dan runs. Smith now. Can they, they respond? Seven runs on the strength of... Cocoa Beach, the authentic beach town, where the sand is our building blocks and a board is our preferred mode of transportation. A place where memories are awakened by the sound of a wave. It's the home of the original, home to the iconic, and home of the legendary. Cocoa Beach, it's still cool. Your beach vacation begins at GoCocoBeach.com. See the rain, and hopefully, and of all the people, that's uh, one of our big ballers up there on high first, Abby. But she is partially covered. <laughs> Matt O'Hara here in the booth, he's fully covered. Senior I don't even think he felt a drop. It's seniority. I remember when he was stuck out in the heat on a scaffold a long time ago. So he's earned his way to the air-conditioned, semi-air-conditioned booth. Well, this is it, I think. Yeah, Top of the sixth inning. You got to answer back here with, with Into the box to get things three to five to put the pressure back on him again. But Chris Reiner. And that's Reiner not going to drops that one. Yeah. But Short. It stays in the park. Underneath that one is Brandon Dillon, so he hauls it in. Griner retired, one away, and now into the box. It'll be the third baseman. Andy Number Purcell's seven, really settled John down. They've really Williams. weathered the storm, if you will. John, three out of three in the ball game. It's a pun. It's a Bernie pun. There you go. Weathered the storm, Bernie pun. So they got to get back. We saw. We talked earlier about the emotion and how, how the Dan Smith dugout. Now they're up on the rail. It's quiet. 
this is where you know someone over there has to step up right now. You're still in a spot. It's a two-run game. Don't go quiet. Jonathan Williams takes a called strike. It's one and one. Another miss. Should be another out. And it is. High fly ball camping under that is Nick Santana. Williams you gotta get a two out rally. Time in the game. And now stepping into the box, it'll be the first baseman, Jason Matusik. Sure, Dan Smith is gonna be looking back at this one and wondering what could have been. I think, I think not taking anything away from what Smash has done here, but this game changed on a on a hamstring. You know, right. Not, not to saying that they couldn't come back and we wouldn't have the same thing going here right now, but you also lose Elsie Watson's bat out of the lineup. We talked about how, like Andy Purcell, who was a great pitcher who became a really good, you know, a great hitter. LC was a, a very good pitcher who became a pretty darn good hitter. So you lost a bat in the lineup, but I also think it took a little momentum from them. They wondered what was going on. That one late foul down the line. So I mean, if we look they at they got the full umpire crew out there, by the way. This is uh, just like a World Series game. You got the infield covered. You got the outfield covered. Just be Larry at What do you well, think about that? So a whole bunch of more eyes to still miss calls is what I say, because you know my opinion on umpires. <laughs> They're a necessary evil. Except for Ken Hawk on home plate. I think Ken Hawk does a great job. And and most of our umpires, I say all of them do a great job. And yeah, this is something new. I mean, we went to a, they went to a six-man mechanic at the conference finals. I believe it was the first time they ran it there. We always run a four-man mechanic uh, at the Major World Series. So this was something new that was that was added in here. Matusik is almost desperate for a hit here. He almost needs to get one up out of the yard and see if he can't get a little energy going. Just something to change the storyline. Seven in the bottom of the fourth, seven in the fifth inning. And, and that's not going to do it. Unless that falls in the Bermuda Triangle out there, I don't think it's going to do it. Long run. And a long Hold run in. to the left fielder, Brandon And Dillon, it's a game there to grab it. that has That'll changed side on a dime. Smith down in order it was in all Dan Smith six. early on, so but Smash it's coming come back to the play with a chance to really Close the door on this one and move on to the winner's bracket final. And Three experiences to have in one trip. Go Titusville.com. Less than one year later, here we are. And we've been very busy and believing in this project, giving this association the new chapter. Now this is the final stop for at least the next 20 years. Doc Beckwell. And at third base from Fayetteville, Arkansas. There you go, with our line Overlag. score tonight. Down the left See the field difference? line from Jacksonville, North Fourth Carolina. Fourth inning on, Rob Mantlo. has made it tonight's game. And down and the right they lost field they lost line, Elsie Watson in Tony the Walzak. third inning. Or actually, the top, like I should say, the top of the fourth on the bases, and we can see what's happened after that. Here is Nick Santana. And what Tommy's looking to do is get out of here with nothing. I mean, even even one's going to make it tough. You need to get out of here with zero and and try to steal this thing in the seventh now. There's a base hit to start things off for Santana because you never know. I mean, it's one of those things. Even if you get up a run or two, yeah, you, you, you know, yeah, you still, yeah, two two runs in this park in the bottom of the seventh when you're chasing sometimes feels like it's eight or ten on you, especially if you get that early out. So, you know, anything can happen here. Hey, by the way, my mic's uh, working. The way they need to get out of here as cheap as possible. So Nick Santana with the obvious, base. Not to state the obvious, but to state the obvious. Started. And Kyle Pearson has entered. We have a defensive change. Kyle Pearson, the shortstop, he'll bat in the number nine slot. That's interesting. I wonder if Freddie Bynum has come up injured, too, because 
Kyle Pearson went in at sh for a defensive replacement at shortstop, something we've seen him do when they've had the, their offensive lineup, but he'll normally go in at the wheel for Chad Durick. Right. So I don't think if you were just going to have Kyle Pearson hit, I think that's got a chance. And that one ripped the left by Dylan, but it drifts foul. Wow. They, they, I don't think you would make that switch just to have him hit uh, for Freddie until the next inning. So curious, curious to see if they haven't had an injury to Freddie Bynum as well. Because like we like to talk about either, if you lose this, you're not out of the tournament. And teams have come back from this spot and won this tournament. So you know there'll be a big question carrying on. Win, lose, or draw. That ball's got a chance. Colby Hughes circles it. And reaches up and grabs it. Fly ball to deep left center field, but running back to the gap is Colby Hughes. You see the great hustle from Santana Tag. Up against the wall on the play, Santana tags and goes all the way from first to third. And goes to third. Now one out. You think here now? You have to wonder what does this mean for Smith going forward? Win, lose, or draw here? You know, can does this mean Lloyd? is done for the, for the weekend, and if that's the case, maybe their chance of coming back and winning this tournament goes out the window with it. If Freddie Bynum's injured as well, you know, that's two big pieces of your of your cog that could be of gone. Of your puzzle, right. So from what went from a jovial, happy, holy cow, we're about to be the undefeated team, you know, all of it's changed here real quick on them. Of course, of about 45 minutes. They had all the momentum. And now everything seems flat. They got to get Ruley here. Yeah, they, they definitely can. I mean, at this point in time, you got to figure you're probably giving up the run at third, but that, that's got to be it. Are you even thinking about putting Ruley on to set up a double play? You know, if you are, you're crazy because the Don Dionida runs the way he runs, and that's going to gap. Yeah, Ruley. It's going to wind up with Dennis a double. Dennis really roping it into the gap. He is now three out of four. Give him an RBI as Santana comes in to score. It's 18 to five. Runner at second for the shortstop, Don DiDonatus. And again, that's even if you, if you see the defensive placement there. If LC's on, I think he's he's pinching both of those gaps, knowing that, that Dennis isn't going to try to hit a home run right there. He's going to try to stay in the middle of the yard so that he knows, worst case scenario, it's something up in the air, and he's picking up that run that's a big run. That, and, and that's and where we got a pinch runner entering the game ha having for Ruley. A, I think that's Lee Payne. Lee Payne's going to go on a run for Dennis Roy. That's just with the little things that you miss when you lo lose your starting pitcher of how they would have sat that outfield up right there. I'm not saying it would have that Dennis wouldn't have you know adapted to it, but you have to take those you have to pinch both those gaps and take that away from him right there. And even here, you, again we talked about earlier. There's that hole that 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 Junior likes over the walked him anyway that junior likes over the right shoulder of the pitcher that's wide open out there and you were pitching and him there to get to hit into it so, so those are just the little things that Corey Briggs here comes Briggs and he had a defensive play early in the game on Bynum that kept a five run inning a five run inning if he doesn't make it's a seven run inning for sure and they're still hitting <coughs> well they're about to go to the danger zone at the top of the lineup and they are going to get there and they're going to get there with a couple more runs coming in to score and as that Briggs one somehow scoots it glove through glove the now. infield Pearson motoring around to score is Lee Payne hustling to third is the Donatus runners at the corners just one out and now we go to the top of the order for Jason Branch if you could see the difference And they're still pushing for more. Up four, they realize that and they could put together a big inning. They're trying to get 11 up right now and end this thing and don't even let Smith hit again. That's 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 the the mindset of that dugout right now is don't give them a chance. Just like that's a nice piece of hitting. Ops away, goes to the wall. The Junior the comes wall. in to score. Branch on his way to second. He drives home two. Jason Branch in with the double. A little slip around first, but he gets up. Give him two RBIs. 
Four runs across in the inning. It's 21-15. And now into the box. The Hall of Famer, number 19, the pitcher, Andy Purcell. Andy Purcell now. Brismondo. They've got next. And you got the bad draw team that they're fixing to play. That's the Cinderella kind of story of the tournament so far for sure. We had them rode off on the opening night. We did. Two of our major teams have already gone home for the weekend in, in Thunder and Bad Draw. I believe Rax is still going. I've yeah, Rax has moved on. So three of our five major teams are still here, but you know, I think Thunder's the big one that uh, everybody kind of had picked. I mean, I think most everyone figured it was going to come down to Thunder and pick up by John Williams, and he oh threw it in the pop goodness. pop patch. Into the dugout. And Andy Purcell with the ground ball to third, but the wet ball slips, sails high, so Purcell aboard on the errant throw. I think the rain has subsided. And that was Eric Canopy who had entered to run in place of Jason Branch. He comes in to score. So an unearned run. Here's a look. And now into the box, the catcher, Ryan Harvey. Yeah, the, well, the, wheel, the wheels are maybe completely off the bus, but the bus has hit a couple of guardrails and the wheels are wobbling. And we got another pinch runner at second base. That's Jason Kendrick. The Hall of Famer Jason Kendrick running in place of Andy Purcell. So we're swapping that. We're and swapping old Hall of Famers for older Hall of Famers. <laughs> Jason, a longtime center fielder, left fielder, right fielder in his day, could run with the best of them still for, for a... Uh, with one of this one's hoping that it only takes two tomorrow. Another knuckleball. Nice play this time by Colby Hughes out there. That Harvey rips that. And that's one of the left, things we have to talk about. You know, we shortened this tournament down to end it on Hughes. Saturday. Right. So now there's and I think the thought process the right originally was you have so many Andrew teams that are here on Saturday that have been Andrew eliminated that will sit here and watch losers bracket games, but they never got to see the winners bracket games. And most, And we have a pretty empty stadium on Sunday as all the other surrounding tournaments had ended. And the decision was made for that, and I think it was a great decision. It brings great atmosphere tomorrow night. And we had a nice crowd tonight. My assumption is we can't see them here from our perspective, and they're all underneath in line finding some brewski. Yeah, they tuck up underneath there when the weather comes. We had a great crowd last night uh, for the home run derby. One of the bigger crowds we've seen here in a while. Andrew Collins seems like all he does is hit home runs. It's a called strike. Collins, who's had a couple of monster home runs. Draws a walk. And we're back to rules. This is not the inning they were looking for. Base on balls for Andrew Collins. Yeah, they came in the thinking five, Luis six. Rina. And then they gave up another five, and it's not over yet. Yeah. I don't think Bloom thought he would throw any pitches tonight, is my assumption. Yeah, I think if he thought he, he and honestly, if he thought he was going to throw pitches tonight, he was probably thinking he was throwing and them because they were chasing 15 or something. They didn't beat right around the yard, but score. I sure don't think he thought he was going to be given a Kendrick you know, 10 11 run lead and say, you know, go hold it, big boy. Two on, two out, and he's done, he, he's actually done a you know, good inning, job. The, the issue we've had a couple, there's been a couple of misplays in there, and they quit scoring, Bernie. Right. You know, from what, where that came in, it's the. You know the zeros it and the one combined run in the last two innings. Yeah, that's 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 the that's the problem that the compounded that he had a little bit of a lead. I think if you could have kept the pressure on where they came back, hey, you gave okay, we gave up seven, but we got four back, or it would have been a little bit different.
Santana walks. I have no idea where that was. I have to be honest. I'd to love to see the replay on that. I'm not sure where that was. And the base on balls for Santana will load them up for Brandon Dillon. I love Nick Santana, but that looked like an absolute strike. But I'm further away than Ken Hawk is, and he's a very good official, but that looked like a strike. Talked a little bit ago about the 11 that they may have needed, and uh, well, there's two outs. They're not quite there yet. They are getting a whole lot closer. This is one of those timeouts that I think you're just calling because I'm not sure why. <laughs> it's, you know, you know what's going on out there. Maybe you thought he could calm Tommy down a little bit. Everyone knows the situation. You're not changing anything here right now. You're just hoping for a miss. Hoping oh, if you call a timeout here, maybe it, luck of the draw happens. You get a, you get a miss and you feel good about it. Brandon Dillon with the bases juiced. Ooh. Or as Aubrey would say, looking for a grand bacon. Why not? <laughs> it's hard to argue with her. I mean, everybody loves bacon, and, right? Yeah, it starts in Seattle. In Seattle for years, the, the, the Hall of Fame commentator up there, Rick Niehaus, who has now passed away, used to call everything a grand salami. And she heard it as a kid and thought, well, why, well bacon's way better than salami. Why don't they call it a grand bacon? Going to come down, I think, on the other side of the fence. That is a grand slam home run. It's a grand for bacon. Brandon grand Dillon. bacon. A line drive over the wall in left field, and that'll make it a seven in the fourth, seven, to seven in the fifth, lead. and ten here in the sixth inning. Two outs. The bases cleared. And re-entering to hit, re-entering is Dennis Ruley. And here we are in a situation where we talked about the run rule. Like, if they could get the 11, we kind of, people probably thought we were kidding when we said it, but that's what they're looking for right now. Find a way to chip these last couple out and call it a night. Another three away now. Get I've seen this song. They may get one or two more, and then we'll play the seventh. You've seen, you've heard this song, seen this movie. Yeah, they're going to hold three and away. Line drive to center field. There you would be correct, sir. Onto Zirko the seventh. Retire the side. What a difference! In the, inning, the second half of this contest points. makes ten. ten here in the sixth inning, and Dan Smith is down to their final three outs. and every day you come out here to the park, you give everything you got. Behind every good team is a great coach. Our hands are not in here, hands are out. Today's coaches mold tomorrow's leaders. A lot of hard work. We know the blood, sweat, and tears that go into the job. And that's why this season, coaches fly free when booking their teams travel with us. That's all right, come on, it's fine. Save time, save money, fly with the Air Travel Group. Here we are in the top of the seventh inning. 
Dan Smith down to their final three outs. They did lead at one time, and they led in a huge way. I guess they carried a, a 15 to three advantage into the bottom of the fourth inning. And that's when life came up. Seven in the bottom of the fourth, seven in the bottom of the fifth. You've been there. This is not a completely Listen, done story, no, right? I, I've, I've had teams we used to talk about. Sometimes we got so stupid in these spots, we just everybody else gave up and went home but us. And so you've seen stranger things. Like we talked about this morning's game. Kyle I think Pearson. it was twenty-eight to five. Right. That Thunder was down to Newbreed, something, something in that in arena in the fourth inning, and Thunder won. Now they had a few more outs than this, but hey, anything can happen here. But you're almost not necessarily even thinking about home runs. I would think you're thinking about no. a couple of base hits here. You'll just take to a walk of momentum. A walk, a bloop, a blunder. You don't care at this point in time. That's a start. There's two of them in a row. Cal so Pearson on second. Doubles. Pearson with a double. Places with Quill. And that is one. Uh, that'll make it a 27. That they need it. 27 16. Game. They get 11 more. And obviously the they're going to need to get plus 11. Five, yeah, I mean, that's the thing is, like you talked about it, one or two runs. If you're if you're in the Dan Smith's shoes, if you could find a way, a lot of things have to go your way right now, but if you can get just a one run lead, you have to figure, you know, right now, Smash it's thinking three outs, we're done, we're going home. The next thing you know, they're hitting again. So, and they're. I think the big, the, the two big swing of bats are going to be right here with Zirkle. It was great that it was a double because it takes the pressure off of him. He can try to go backside and beat it out. He's gone middle twice tonight off of Andy Purcell. Zirkle did not like that last pitch. That's the way you answer back. Don't let the pitch bother you. And Zirkle rips that one into right center. It's an RBI Double, double, single. and a single. So two across, one on, nobody out. And now into the box, it'll be the pitcher number 11, Tommy Bloom. This is the thing here. If Tommy can roll it over without an out, now you're talking about every swing, now you're into single digits. So you can start almost counting the number of bats you need for your miracle to happen if you can roll over right here without an out. I like his walk-up music, the little Empire theme from Star Wars. This one holds up in time Line for Santana drive. to grab it, and that's the first out. It, Nick Santana. That's a great hustle all the way around. Throw to second base is Brian Zirkle. Zirkle so on his way to second. And it's second for Stephen Lloyd. Your goal now is to get back to Blum. You get the dugout right now, and you start telling yourself, let's make Tommy make all three outs in this inning. I've seen it before. I've seen I've seen a guy make all three outs before in an inning. One of the best hitters all year in the conference, Lloyd at the plate, trying to get something huge started here for Dan Smith. That's what he does. They Again, sit back up the middle. Home runs don't Steven matter Lloyd right now. now just don't make outs. Out five in the ball game. Bangs another base hit back through the box coming in to score. Five for five night for Lloyd. One Nobody's going to argue with that. No. Hughes. Zirkle coming in to score. And this is one I don't agree with right here again, too, is you're on a roll right now. He and your coach is mad about a pitch that was called on Zirkle, so he's still chirping about it. It doesn't matter. You are chasing. Let your players play. I mean, there's there's nothing there's nothing constructive that comes from this conversation right now other than you just froze your own hitter. You yeah, well, think about the momentum. Yeah, right? you, you have it going. If you're going to make a run, it's got to be the way it was going right there, and you literally just took Kobe Hughes and stuck him in a corner right now. It just doesn't make sense to me. Three in here in the seventh inning. And the worst thing is, 
you're looking for maybe if you did have a bad call for Kenny for Kenny Hawk to throw you a makeup in an inning that you've got to be really big in. That might find gap. That might find gap. Colby Hughes, it is caught. Great and play. A long run. Wow. Into the left center field. Gap, Brandon Dillon. A nice Great play job. by Brandon Dillon. The, the Mohawk. Down, two down. Lloyd at second. In the box, Donnie Hammonds. Made a huge run to grab this one. So there's two away. I think that's coming down. And that's a base hit to left field for Donnie Hammond, Stephen Lloyd coming in to score. So that's now four across in the inning, 27-19. And in the box, the middle infielder, number Makes four. Makes you think Chad back to that Curry. inning. We had it spot on. They had a chance. You know, we got four in, but it's just the huge number that they're having to try to overcome. Yeah, it's, it's the zero, you know, that one zero, if they would have stayed on their pace. But, again, this take nothing away from what Tommy's gone out there and tried to do pitching. And But, you know, you lose your front line pitcher and, and everything changes. I mean, if the shoe was on the other foot and, and Andy was would have had to leave the game, you know, it would have been interesting to see what happened there too. So, But it's part of the game. Injuries happen. That's going to go shopping. little gap. That's going to be an RBI triple for Chad Durek as he scoots into third. Donnie Within Hammond's seven. The it's 27-20 and in the box, Chris Greiner. There's bad draw in the background waiting for their chance to face off against Rosmondo. Chris Greiner hoping that that game isn't going to happen for about 30 more minutes. Well, again, you got to wonder. You're also trying to get yourself back again. When these teams are coming back. You wonder what happened to Freddie Bynum. We, we, we know Elsie Watson has a hamstring issue. It'll be interesting to see if he can come back and go. But you're also trying to carry the momentum in. This thing's not over for them as far as the tournament goes. Greiner with a base and hit. Base knock for Chris Greiner. Coming in to score is Chad Durek. That'll make it singles all day. One. And it'll bring up the third baseman, John Williams. Yeah, there's. What we talk about people. People always go, "Is it unlimited home runs? Is it unlimited home runs?" Yeah, but it's also unlimited singles. It's unlimited doubles, and this is a great big park. We saw a lot of people on the Facebook Live tonight talking about, "Geez, they're running the three man in this this great big park." It is a great big park, and sometimes I think we get home run happy here, and, and we jump at first pitches instead of doing that right there. And you saw that really the Rizma, or the smash at comeback wasn't on the home runs. Right. A couple of home runs that threw daggers, but the daggers were because there were bases were loaded or two were on based off of singles and doubles. Jonathan Williams. And I would think that even in this spot, you like to have somebody on base. It's just nice and comforting to have somebody out there. Maybe if you had two or three on, he hit a grand slam. Yeah, just then take, take the home run. Take what comes. I mean, Big John, I think, has made a couple out tonight being, being home run happy. And he's, a, and he's a great hitter all over the park. Andy Purcell misses with two. Do we have Way back. Full count. And that one ripped through the infield. And that's a base rip for Williams. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, he got Williams lucky. is safe. He got absolutely lucky because there was no reason for him to be there. You have to know you're getting there standing up. Sometimes there's good hustle, and then so there's the sometimes there's just getting the flat for lucky. Williams. He goes to second. Pretty close. Uh, you mean just under the spot where you're at right now. You know, if, you, if, he, if he holds on to the ball, he's going to be out. It's out of the ball game. It's all over. Yeah. In the box. Well, the biggest inning came in the seventh. They got seven in the seventh. Could a deer pinch hit for Bloom here and bring Elsie Watson in? 
I mean, you're playing for the win. I mean, you almost, if you get to that spot, you know, you, it's not that Tommy can't hit because he can. So that, 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 that's one of those, I think right now they like the opportunity to, to think about that. That means they've got, got a few more runs closer and it's, you know, you're having that conversation. I think they would love to have that, that opportunity right now, which means you've got to get that ball not caught. That ball is deep and gone. it is gone. And that ball a is two run home run. Run. Jason Hold your horses. Dan run. Smith is within three. It's the tying run is in the hole, if you can believe it. And now stepping into the box, it'll be the man who got things started, Westy Gwill. You, you have to tip your hat to him right now. Like you said, after that last inning, it would have been really easy for them to just walk away and say, okay, let's live to fight another day. But and like we've talked about, give them a lead. See what happens if they can just get a one run lead here. And I mean, Smash, it still has to hit in the bottom of the seventh, but you talked about even if you're up just a couple, all that pressure. To the top of the board. Matt O'Hare in the year asked me, he said, would you call a timeout here? And I think I think why Rector or Kendrick Cavan got out there is they trust Andy, as, as we saw in the interview earlier, where Jason said, I've got, I've got two coaches on the field, and they, they kind of let them slow the game down, but... That's the game, though, unless something happens. Holds up, called and for, and caught a valiant effort by Dan that Smith. Nick Santana, and that'll do it. So Smith puts up nine here in the seventh, but they come up short. It finishes. What a game. Great game. Smash it Unfortunately, I would have liked to have really seen that game if L.C. Watson doesn't go this down. I think everybody, really we may have gotten halves. robbed of what could have been After a, a classic, but Tommy Blum came in and did the best he could and do. And smash it erupted. Congratulations to Smash It Albacoco. So it finishes 27-24. The number one seed is through to the final two. They moved to 3-0 and in this World Series. They will be back at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon to face the winner of the upcoming game between well, Bad Draw warming and up. Rizmondo. Bad Draw warming up. For Smash It, they move to 3 and One of these teams they will be back tomorrow is going to take on to face the winner of Bad Draw and Rizmondo. Smash It. For Dan Smith, who advances, so they move done. on. They're now 2 and 1 in this world it's series. A big gut check game they for Smash It Sports. Yeah, bracket. absolutely. It was. You got They'll down be like back that. Tomorrow morning to that's start why, our that's day. why that core group of face one as many of these as they have at nine o'clock once again dan smith and gentry Rax will come your way at 9 a.m fill up the morning. slot smash it will be back at one o'clock lindsey schmidt's waiting to get a chance to talk to andy Purcell to find out minutes, it'll be about the uh, the emotions in this in one bracket. it'll be bad yeah there were many we saw him yeah, and he's an emotional Rondo. player which i've always had. i think that's what makes him so great he had some highs and lows there and you know, I, I think that he, if you're talking about winning a world championship in baseball or college basketball, a lot of times you have that moment that you get really tested and you work your way and you find your way through. And I'm not certainly calling Smash It Sports the champions here, but if you could get through that gut check moment, sometimes it's a big difference uh, of what it takes to get to the finals. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it, and you, you see those bracket plays, and we, we've seen this, I don't care if it's in the field of 64 or 68 or whatever the heck it is now where you see that opening round game and somebody says how can the 15 seed you know almost pull off the upset or the 16 holds them down and takes a buzzer beater and then that team runs the table after that well the most valuable player in the conference helps his team on to the winner's bracket final and Andy Purcell is down with Lindsay Schmidt. Lindsay? Thanks, Bernie. I'm here with Andy Purcell. Andy, not the start that you guys wanted for this game, but you were able to make the comeback. How did you guys flip that switch? Well, we, we, we stayed together. We knew uh, they were going to have to score a lot to beat us. We knew once we started going, uh, we're hard to beat, and we just started slow for some reason. But uh, we never stopped believing. We know what everybody can do, and uh, we knew uh, we knew we were going to put a few innings together. And how important for you guys is it to stay in this winner's bracket? Well, it's massive. It's Florida. It's hot. And it's humid during the day. So you don't win this, you got to win, you know, four or five more games in a row. And that's, uh, that's tough on anybody. So it was massive to uh, get this win and play one game to get to the finals tomorrow. And this is the last time, the final final, if you will, that will be at Disney. So many emotions, so many memories. What are you going to look forward to most about that final? Uh, great memories. I've played a lot of years here, and uh, I would love, absolutely love to go out and end this thing with a uh, World Series win. 
Well, we're rooting for you guys. Back to you, Bernie. Thanks so much, Lindsay. We got another one coming your way. Resmonda, the home team. They're going to take on Bad Draw. Stay with us on USSALive.com and Facebook Live as well. <laughs> 